Hi everyone and welcome to watch my unboxing video. Kenji Chu? No, Johanne plays in the deep blue or as it's known in English, Johanne the Parhelion plays in the deep blue. So it's a game based on the animated series called Johanne the Parhelion Sunshine in the Mirror. And it's basically a um, Love Life spin-off, um, but with this like mm, fantasy setting, featuring magic and fairies and so on. Um, and it shares mm, same cast as Love Life Sunshine, <laughs> both series having the word Sunshine in the title. And while the show is quite cutesy little show about the story, mm. how you can save the world by making your friends and then singing together. <laughs> it can has it can have also some um, more serious moments, like with the backstories of the different characters. For example, Mari here has. Um, secluded herself from people and is living alone on her small island because she is a demon lord and is um, afraid of people being too judgmental about her differences. And while most of us are not demon lords, I am sure I am not only one who can relate to similar fears in real life. But <laughs> thankfully I can also relate to the feeling of relief when you finally understand how most people are actually quite nice and understanding towards the differences of others. So yeah, quite a fun little show with some more serious moments, especially towards end of the season, the whole dynamic between Johanne and Lapilaps um, can have some more tearful moments as well. But yeah, <laughs> I guess that I guess that was way too lengthy introduction to the show. Let's Finally, talk about the game itself. So the game has its own original story in which there um, appears this mysterious labyrinth-like dungeon from under the sea near Johannes' hometown and her friends end up um, trying to explore the dungeon, but end up getting lost and trapped in there. And you as a player take role of Johanne to also explore the dungeon and hopefully save your friends from there. And as a gameplay element, from what I understand, as you save your friends, you unlock new skills and tools to help you explore even more areas of the dungeon. So it sounds like it has some gameplay elements similar to Metroid-like games in its level design, which makes me excited. Another reason why I'm excited for the game is because it's another 2D action platformer from Indie Creates. And I believe it's not been <laughs> so long that I last time praised Indie Creates for their 2D action platformers. Mm, I believe Grim Guardians was the previous one earlier this year. So yeah, I'm excited for the game. But <laughs> one last thing before we finally take a look at the contents of the game. Let's take a quick look at the pre-order bonus as well. So it is a set of little mini magnets 
and I am curious about one thing about these magnets which is why I want to actually open this and check this out if I can <laughs> get them out of the pouch quite <laughs> starting here why they are oh Okay, let's just break the pouches. I can't get them out otherwise. So yeah, it seems like you can snap the little magnets to separate them from each other. How does this work? I think I'm just... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. I thought it would look a little bit weird to get her like that, but yeah, it's nice that you can. If you are <laughs> strong enough to get them of each other. So yeah, and they're like magnets, I believe, so you can put them on your fridge or something. And while I love how Indie Creates use these little in-game sprites on the, these little um, magnets, I especially like the little pose here that is seen in the show and also mm, I believe it was in some of the cover arts, but not that in that, <laughs> maybe I remember incorrectly, but in the show you can see that pose and also this little crouching pose where she looks quite scared is also quite cute, but at the same time I feel like maybe they should have included some of the other characters as well, especially I would have loved to have little magnet with lappy laps. So yeah, nice little magnet set as a pre-order bonus. And now finally let's open this quite huge looking box and take a look at the contents. Even though the box is quite huge, I believe the contents are rather simple. Another <laughs> so tight box that I can get it to open. <laughs> Do I have to break this as well? I don't want. To. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's more sprite artwork on the box. So yeah, like that sprite I would have loved to have this on one of the magnets. Instead of all four having sprites of Johanna. Why is everything so tightly? Yeah, finally we have the contents out of the box so we can take a better look at them. So starting with the game itself of course. So I want to work with some cute cover of Johanna and Lappy Laps. Taking a break in the forest. And next we have a acrylic panel. We 
repeat the whole cast here. <laughs> Lovely artwork of like that. And final item is little cloth tapestry. And it's nice of them to include also equipment to hang the tapestry. So, I suppose, let's take a quick look at this first. Another loud pouch, sorry. So I believe it might have the same artwork as the limited edition cover. And here. It seems like it. So yeah. Nice little tapestry with nice artwork on it. And that's these little loops to hang it on both sides so it stays nicely. Okay, nice. Quality of clothes used as well. And next, another loud pouch. with not a lot of pouch inside of it. For the legs of the panel here. Very simple little legs to be screwed here. And yeah, I love the artwork on it. So much smiling and they look happy there in the group set. So yeah, I'm definitely going to put this on some of my shelves in the living room. And next, let's take a look in the soundtrack case. <laughs> I 
especially love this artwork because you only look so relaxed there, sleeping against such a mm, very <laughs> lovey loves. Must be <laughs> soft and warm spot for little nap. So 34 tracks on the soundtrack <laughs> and some sprite artwork here as well. <laughs> Here we can see all of the characters, sprites. <laughs> Can't wait to see them in game and find out what kind of skills each character has. As they join you, and it seems like we go booklet here with credits and stuff for the soundtrack. track list also inside here as, fair, as well as more detailed look at the, each instruments and players And finally at the end here, let's take a look inside the game box as well. So, slightly different cover art compared to the limited edition box but very similar idea with all of the cast featured on the cover together and seems like back cover is same as for the limited edition box And inside just the disc. And that should be everything in here. Quite simple, limited edition, only handful of items, but I feel like the quality of the items feels nice. The tapestry is nice, especially because it comes with <laughs> actual equipment for hanging it. Sometimes <laughs> they don't have anything like that, so it's nice to have those. Soundtrack seems to have full soundtrack, not just a sample, like sometimes, and also the acrylic panel. Feels nice, and especially looks nice, nice artwork. 
of course I would have loved to have some sort of art book with more of those lovely sprite artworks but at least they put some of those in the case of the soundtrack CD so yeah <laughs> art book is one thing that I would have loved to have here otherwise I do like it and I am excited for the game can't wait to try it and see if it's the usual integrates quality but I guess that's everything thanks for watching and bye